stories we're doing in preparation for the holidays. And Josh, keeping eye on the weather for us. Yeah, you know, if you missed out on maybe the brew lights, mm -hmm. you can still go to the zoo tomorrow. It's going to be a lot drier for you out there as we see those clouds start to break free. And that's where we will see those temperatures once again climbing back up into the mid 50s for tomorrow afternoon. The fog might be slow to clear for some areas, but for the most part, expecting to end this week with some sunshine. But let's just all take a moment to relax and enjoy the views found out along the Oregon coast. Truly some spectacular colors being seen out towards seaside as we sit at 48. Also some great views out towards Lincoln City as the sun has just now poked its head below the horizon as we hover in the mid 50s out that direction. But the cloud coverage does remain over downtown Portland as we still enjoy just a bit of those fall colors out towards the West Hills as our temperature out towards PDX thanks to the cloud coverage is sitting in the low 50s. But as we work our way through the rest of this evening, expecting to see those clearing skies, that's where temperatures will start to cool back into the mid 40s and it only gets colder as we approach sunrise tomorrow. We're talking about 30s, maybe some patchy frost for a few folks as the cloud coverage is on the move, tracking its way out towards the south and east. After we managed to fill up our rain gauge today with just a couple of one hundredths of an inch of rain for the I-5 quarter, closer to that 10th inch mark for some of our coastal communities. All courtesy this low pressure system situated just to the southwest of us really feeling the brunt was the state of California and will continue to do so through the overnight hours and into tomorrow as high pressure slides back into place that not only drying us out but returning the sunshine and mild temperatures as we work our way into Friday then we prepare for the next cold front that's going to be the rainmaker for us just in time for Saturday and that will lead us into Sunday as well impacting our temperatures very mildly as we continue to hover right around the average, which is 54 for this time of year. Fast forward, though, to the other side of the weekend into Turkey Day this upcoming Thursday, 48 degrees. We stay on the cooler trend as we move into the holiday weekend, so be prepared for that. But if you are planning on traveling within about the next week or so, expect to see calm weather patterns for much of the Pacific Northwest. 50s, 40s expected for those temperatures and no valley snow. I've gotten a few tweets from folks saying, hey, there's snow icon is popping up on my weather app. Don't trust it for a minute, not in the cards for us. As we see that fog layer once again developing through the I-5 quarter for the start of the day tomorrow. That will clear out by the mid-morning hours, returning that sunshine and those temperatures back into the mid-50s for us. Not likely to see fog for the start of the day Friday due to those slightly stronger easterly winds, which in turn will help to warm us up as well. But the timeline for tomorrow morning, expecting to see improvements with the visibility as we work our way through the morning hours by afternoon seeing that sunshine once again return. But clearing skies tonight, we fall to about 38 degrees. Winds out north northwest at about 3 to 6. 54 for that daytime high tomorrow. And we will see the sunshine by sunset as the seven day forecast does show the return of the wet weather and cooler daytime highs falling back to the low 50s for Saturday, Sunday. We gradually warm things back up again for the first half of next week before that next front not only brings back the chance of rain for us on Wednesday, but that will take us into a chillier Turkey Day and points after that. It's the tail end of November. No surprise that we're seeing the wet weather and those cooler temperatures. No. Mm. All right. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. Uh, Portland State